Hello, my name is Manon Rabia. I am a speech-language pathologist and an assistant professor for the Speech-Language Pathology Program at Laurentian University in Ontario, Canada. This presentation was prepared with my colleague, Chantal maillet Crittenden, who is also a speech-language pathologist and an assistant professor at Laurentian University. The title of this presentation is Cognitive Underpinnings of Language, a Framework for the Study of Multilingualism. This is a virtual presentation for the 11th International Conference on New Directions in the Humanities. There is growing evidence to support that cognitive and language skills are correlated in children. There is also evidence that children with primary language impairment, or PLI, perform below their peers on non-linguistic cognitive processing skills, although they do not perform below the norm. The goal of this presentation is to propose a framework for the study of multilingualism which would involve the analysis of multiple cognitive abilities and that would focus on the cognitive underpinnings that are common to all languages. Cognitive underpinnings of language. The relationship between cognitive and language skills is of growing interest. Researchers now recognize that cognitively demanding tasks can modulate the development of the brain, in turn modifying cognition. Cognition and PLI Children with PLI have difficulty learning language. They represent approximately 7% of all school-age children. These children typically have a persisting language delay. There is growing evidence that children with PLI have poor performances in cognitive non-linguistic areas. Attention, working memory, and processing speeds are examples of functions that would be affected in children with PLI. Multilingualism and Cognition Speaking two or more languages on a daily basis produces changes in the cognition. A 2013 study demonstrated an advantage for bilingual children in working memory. Indeed, they found that bilinguals outperform monolinguals in response time and accuracy. A bilingual advantage has been shown in children as young as 24 months who have minimal experience in language production. Multilingualism, Cognition, and PLI Bilingual or multilingual children with PLI have difficulty learning all of the languages to which they are exposed. Since both languages are affected in bilingual children with PLI, they typically learn each one of them at a slower pace. Intervention of Non-Linguistic Cognitive Skills New studies have shown that it is possible to improve language learning in children who have PLI by working on cognitive non-linguistic processing tasks. Non-linguistic cognitive therapy could be a very effective approach in the intervention of bilingual children. Since the cognitive gains made from this type of intervention increases skills in both languages of a bilingual child, a speech-language pathologist who has limited knowledge of a foreign language could assist in increasing linguistic skills within that language by using a cognitive non-linguistic treatment approach. Framework for the study of multilingualism in children. Model for the assessment of multilingual children. A complete assessment is a critical step in the successful intervention of children with PLI. When assessing the language skills of bilingual or multilingual children, not only is it important to assess all languages, but also the addition of cognitive assessments could prove to be beneficial. Standardized tests such as, such as the LIDAR International Scale Revised or the LIDAR R and the Test of Nonverbal Intelligence or the TONI are good choices since they involve nonverbal tasks. This would reduce the probability that a child was unsuccessful due to linguistic components. This is an example of the model. Um, when assessing a child who has more than one language, for example, three languages, the speech-language pathologist would need to assess cognition in each one of the languages. So here the model is showing with three languages. Model for the intervention of multilingual children. The proposed model suggests that addition, the addition of cognitive non-linguistic tasks during the intervention of multilingual children with PLI. As shown in previous studies, these tasks can improve language skills by improving cognitive functions. The model shown here 
um, is the uh, intervention of a child with three languages again, but the speech language pathologist could intervene, intervene with cognition in only in one language, which could in turn um, show results in all languages by working on cognition. To conclude, when assessing children's language skills, speech language pathologists should include cognitive assessments, especially those that measure processing speed, attention, and working memory. The intervention of children with PLI should include cognitively based tasks in order to increase cognitive functions, which in turn can bring gains in the language domain and that in more than one language. This model could prove to be more efficient and cost effective by treating more than lang one language at once. Future studies are needed to demonstrate the efficacy of this model. Thank you very much.